one of the big things going on today, not only in finance and banking, but all around, is what actually happens when a lot of people have access to advanced technology. And you see that, that uh, big shifts are going on everywhere. The speed of change is increasing. And, and it's not only about preserving old business models and making old business models better off. Many times it's about disruptive change. And disruptive change actually means that it's about new solutions to the same old problem. Uh, and we have a problem with that, many of us, because we are good at the old solution. And if we are good and focus on the old solution, it, it's very hard to challenge that thought and to challenge that business model because that's, that's a profitable way so far. You know? so, so that's one of the key takeaways, to, to try to understand and, and to um, identify all of these opportunities out there. And, and to also to realize that you will not have time to, to create a business case. You will not have time to start and convince yourself that this is the profitable way. Um, because then someone will already be inventing and trying. And you actually today, we know that you invent by trying. So that's one of the big parts. Another part that I think is very interesting for, for the financial industry and transactions on the global scene today is the opportunity to decentralize trust. So we saw what happened when we decentralized information and, and by that you have the same sort of power with, with an Egyptian blogger that you have if you're CNN. And if you, you know, just take that analogy and you, you put it into a new concept where we have a decentralized trust network like, like Bitcoin we talk about today for instance, uh, maybe that is in the early days, maybe that is like the internet in the 90s and, and you and I have the same amount of power in the end like Citibank has. And, and that is a tremendous change because then eventually I believe that we will see that, that the, the, the shift and the opportunity will not occur among us. There's only one billion people in this world, us, who have access to, to this old financial system of, of centralized trust. But that means that there is always about six billion people outside of the system who don't have access and three billion people don't even have banking on this planet today. So I think that's where the, the change will start. Because when they understand that they don't need to pay large fees for transaction on a global level, and they don't even need to have big transaction, it could be micro transaction, like one penny at a time, cross-border, mobile, then you will see a lot of disruptive change.